Hello everyone, Charles and Reiner Video Productions, June 23rd, 2015. I am going to show you how to set up, I'm going to show you the functions and how to set up a Cat Eye Padron PA100W. W stands for wireless. Okay, as you can see right now, the, the computer is in the sleep mode. So there's your sleep mode symbol. There is your clock. So that's the sleep mode. There's also a, another screen that shows when it's in the sleep mode and it just shows either the kilometers or miles per hour, whatever you have set. So that's another uh, screen that will show up. So let's get going. I'm going to show you the functions uh, real quick. Okay, the first feature is elapsed time. Next function is your distance. Next function is your average speed. Next function is your maximum speed. And next function is your odometer. Let's look at the back real quick and I'll show you uh, the buttons here. Alright, let's look at the back of the computer right here. There's your battery compartment. It takes a 2032 battery. This is your data reset button. This is, this is a button you push when you get ready to set um, all the information on your computer. This here is your mode button. This changes all the information that you have. It changes the, uh, the numbers right here. That's your mode button, they call it. Once you get it, every once you get a, a a function set, this right here is your set button. That um, and then that takes you to your next um, your next function that you have. So let's go through them right now. All right, I'm going to hit the dad. We're going to set up the computer, and I'm going to show you what exactly step by step. This is your uh, data. This is your data reset. So let's push that button. Okay, as you can see, it starts out with showing kilometers, but it also has miles per hour. So I like to get it to miles per hour. All right, to get it to miles per hour, there's your mode button right there. Just push it once, and now you're showing miles per hour right there. So if that's what you want, push your set button right there. Okay, your miles per hour is set. And now your screen shows your tire circumference. This gives you a, uh, there, there's a chart that, that is online uh, at uh, cateye.com and uh, just click into the manual uh, uh, right there and uh, the manual link. And then um, it, you'll see the, your tire uh, chart. So my, my number is 2180. So in order to get to 2180, you can see the six is highlighted. That's the button you click right there to change the number. That's the button you, you push right there. The mode button right here to change each number. All right, when you, ha when, you, when you change your number, you push this, click, click, click. And then when you get it to where you want it, you hold this down. That's what you do on, uh, on all, all your... Uh, your settings you hold that button down that takes you to your next your next number okay I just held the button down I'm at my next number so when you click 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 get get it to the number that you want hold your mode button down again and that takes you to your next number each time okay so this is if your tire size is finished right there even though the first number is blinking that's okay. Hit your set mode right there. Your tire size is set and now you're in your hour and clock mode. As you can see this has the 24 hour blinking right there. It also has your goes with the, tw the 12 hour. So you have a 12 hour and a 24. So if you want to scroll between the two there's your mode button. That's the one that uh, the changes of uh, your numbers like I said earlier changes your numbers okay when you get the when you get the hour to where you want it hold down your mode button because you still have your clock that uh, you need to set so hold down your mode button 
and as you can see the hour is blinking right there so you're ready to set that there's the mode button that's the one that you use to go up or down with the or to go um, to each different number to set it uh, right there okay there's your mode button you want to change the the hour just uh, click 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 that button that changes the hour it goes up when you get it to where you want the hour hold the uh, mode button down and there you can see the minutes are highlighted so you're ready to set your minutes there's your mode button right there again that sets your minutes you go up um, until you get to where you need to be so when you get your minutes to where you want it hit your set button and there you go you you're you're ready to uh, you're ready to go it, um, so it starts out uh, right here as you can see it shows the miles per hour uh, all the time but as you can see it shows total miles now <clears throat> What I discovered is when I put that on my uh, on my bike bracket uh, right there, it still shows total miles. But once I ride, once I start my ride, then it automatically adjusts to distance, and that's what I want right there. So it took me a little time to figure out that uh, that that just uh, is one of the one of the features. Um, of the computer it just you start out with your total miles but then it goes into your distance so but anyway um, if you want to uh, if you want to do something else okay you can start your ride right there with the uh, with your odometer right there if you want and clicking the the um, clicking the mode button goes to each different uh, function so it's just that uh, simple right there and uh, it takes a little while but uh, it uh, once you get it you get it you know so anyway there you go I believe I have uh, shown you ex everything about the um, about the cat eye padron how to set it uh, the function each function um, like I said I'm not uh, I'm not an expert on this but that is your basic uh, basic setup basic uh, functions and what you have to do to uh, set up your uh, your computer, I um, I never I bought a uh, I bought a Schwinn wireless. It worked. It, it didn't work. I threw it threw it away. This one here worked perfectly right out of the box. So I would definitely recommend the uh, the Cat Eye Padron uh, PA 100W. It was affordable, around 42 to 45 dollars on uh, Amazon. They make different colors. You can go to CatEye.com. They make uh, they have other colors. Um, that are are higher priced than the black. They have a white American flag, uh, Germany, Italy flag um, on the uh, on the screen. So uh, they have uh, they have several different ones. But anyway, this is a uh, this is a really nice one. Uh, I believe I've covered everything. So thanks for seeing. I hope uh, this is a better video than my other one, showing the features and uh, setting up the uh, the padrone here. Charles of Reinhardt Video Productions, thanks for seeing.